Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. No sunrise again this morning. Okay, we are going to use the heat gun. At least I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to do it in a very controlled manner so that uh, you know we're not going to melt our crane down right away. We're going to do a test. I'm going to get a piece of spruce sample and see how hot I can get this thing set for. Like uh, on the back you can digitally set it to different temperatures. I think it will go up to, a, uh, I don't know, 1000 degrees or something Fahrenheit. I don't know if it would go that hot. Anyway, it will go hot enough to melt the sprue. Uh, I do have to be careful though because this thing, this thing draws uh, up to 1500 watts. And I've also got my lights on, and this is plugged into the same circuit as the lights. Now the lights are overhead are, are LED lights. They don't use a whole lot of power, but I don't want to be blowing a fuse. <laughs> uh, maybe I should run an extension cord over to the stove. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll do that, and then I don't need to worry about it. Uh, in case I have to go, like normally I have this thing set at around 140, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and the reason for that is so that uh, I, I just use it to help dry the glue in a, in a, if I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and it actually works pretty good. Uh, yeah, the, the extra thin quick setting, it'll disappear really fast. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, oh, uh, one, of, one of the viewers commented about the, uh, uh, the tragedy in, in uh, Dongan, Texas at the air show. Uh, yeah, that, that was a tragedy. But it got me to thinking about air shows. And <laughs> uh, now the reason I'm laughing is because when I was a kid and we lived uh, near an, a Canadian Air Force base, uh, we we're maybe two hour drive away from it, and they used to have an air show. So we'd, we'd drive over to this to see the air show. And my dad, being a pilot, he was very, uh, you know, interested in aircraft and all that kind of stuff. And so one time we, we went to the, to the air show, and I guess I was about 13 years old. Okay. Now, uh, my parents were, uh, I, I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know, we, we were different. And it, and it, and uh, and that had a real psychological effect on me. You know, kids do not like to be different. They don't like to stand out. I think I told you the story about how how my kids used to sit in the back of our our old rusty van where the tinted glass was, so that they couldn't be seen by their other friends because they didn't want to be embarrassed by this rusty van go being in this old rusty van going down the road. So I, I can understand how why that happened. Anyway, we go to the air show, and uh, uh, I think there was like sort of an intermission or something. They had something in the in the late morning, and then there was going to be an intermission, and then they were you, they were going to do something again in the afternoon, as best I remember. Anyway, but one of the hangars was set up for for a cafeteria and a, a luncheon area. They had picnic tables and all that kind of stuff set up in there. So, so we're going to go on at, at lunchtime and ha have our lunch. Well, everybody, and, and I mean everybody else, was buying stuff. But my, my dad goes to the car and he, in the trunk he had a box. And in the box was our lunch. I mean, they had everything. You know, the food, the sandwiches, the, what we drank, everything. We didn't buy nothing. And everybody else was buying. And it was a Javex box. <laughs> I guess it, it said Javex on the side of on the side, but I guess the best I remember the box was only about that square. You know, it, it wasn't a huge thing with flashing neon lights that said Javex or anything, but it said Javex on the side. And so here we go trucking into this hangar to have our lunch with everybody else who was buying their stuff. <laughs> well, I was I was embarrassed. And I can and I I actually don't remember doing this so much as being told that it happened later. 
and uh, and I sat at a picnic table adjacent to them because I didn't want to sit with my parents with this Javex box. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. We, uh, you know, I was already psychologically mixed up because my parents were very religious, and the, this this superstition that we had to. Uh, believe really happened and uh, you know and, and and at that time we were getting to the place where we were you might say we were becoming enlightened an enlightened society well we we didn't want to go along with it <laughs> you know you know how religious people they hate facts well we hated we hated facts in fact I was brought up to believe that there were no such things as dinosaurs I was actually told that when I was a kid Nonsense, utter nonsense. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject here. Later in later in our family life, whenever something would happen that would be a little bit embarrassing, we used to refer to it as it's a Javix box situation. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was too bad about that uh, tragedy in, in Dallas. Yeah. Um, but that got me to thinking about the Javix box, and I just had to tell you about it. Now let's uh, let's recompose here. Oh, we're we're going to check, put the macro lens on, and we're going to check our decals, and uh, and uh, see if we can spot anything there, like the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, water watermark elevation or whatever they call it. I forget the actual word for it. I'll, I'll superimpose it in in the uh, video here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recompose here and set this up in such a way that I can move in nice and close and we can, uh, well, well first I think we should find some uh, scrap sprue here, like even this piece. Yeah, now you're going to think that I had that stuck in there, you know, to, it was all set up to pull out. I didn't, that's the way it's been for a while. Maybe I, I don't want to waste this one. I don't I don't need a big 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 one. There's lots of s smaller pieces in here. I might want a long piece sometime. All I want to do is just see how hot can we get and to to make this sort of droop over. We'll we'll do this scientifically. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, recompose it. Okay, I, I did run the cord over to the stove and uh, everything is clamped down here. You can't, I know you can't see it, but I don't want anything to move on me. Uh, after all, we are going to have some pretty hot air coming out of the front here. And uh, there is nothing this way of that's going to get damaged, uh, especially the camera. And I can sort of read the, the uh, read out in the back here. We'll start out at about 240 degrees and then we'll just keep increasing it. I'll uh, cut out the dead spots and I'll just keep increasing it until we get to the place where we see this starting to sag a little bit. Then we'll know that's the absolute hottest we want to dare go. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. It, it's 260 degrees right now. I know it'll take a while for it to, to warm up, but uh, like I say, we'll cut out the dead spots. Yeah, it's 300 degrees right now. Okay, 300 degrees is possibly too warm. I'm going to, we'll try it first at 280 and uh, see if that, if we can uh, spread these little parts, where are they? Uh, I'm going to have to reset up here. Um, yeah, see you after I'm all set up. Okay, so here's the plan. I was originally going to just have it sitting on something like this. And then I thought, no, I might be better off 
holding this in my hands and uh, I might have a little better control if I see something's going wrong I can more quickly move it out of the line of fire you might say and uh, all we have to do is spread this apart just enough so that it will fit in the in the slot here um, so what I'm going to do is use these self-locking tweezers and I'll use them in reverse I'll put them in here and I'll, I will use them to to spread as, and I, I think that'll work um, it, it's quite possible that what's going to happen is just let me move you in a bit here Okay, it's quite possible that what's going to happen is the glue is going to let go, which which I guess is okay. If the glue lets go and the uh, these cross members come off from the sides, if you know what I mean, then well that, that's okay too. We'll just uh, as long as we get the distance right, then we can uh, sort of glue everything back together later. Um, maybe use some sprue glue or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to have to concentrate on what I'm doing here. So once again, I'll I'll, uh, I'll remove the dead spots if there are any. Uh, wouldn't you know? Hello. Hey. Oh, I'm doing good. Just let me shut my camera off. Okay, so I'm getting kind of forgetful here in my old age. I was supposed to. Uh, have a video call with somebody at 8 o'clock this morning and I completely forgot about it and uh, I, I can see I could see when I brought up my Facebook that because I we did we use the uh, Facebook video call thing and I, I could see that uh, he had called at 8 and then he had called again later and <laughs> yeah I guess they thought well let's just forget Facebook let's uh, I know the telephone's gonna ring in Ron's house <laughs> so yeah all right let's uh let's go give this a go here and uh, now I just want to make sure the temperature is still going to be turned up Oh my, it's bending out of shape here on me. Okay, I think what I'm going to be doing is I will disable comments for this episode because I just know I'm going to be getting comments about this. So many of you will actually legitimately be able to say, I told you so. Okay, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Well, at arm's length, it's going to look all right. Now let's, let's get the, uh, piece of photo etch that has to go from here, I think, to up here. And, uh, that was so stupid. Okay, we need number 14 here. And this time I do have the plastic sheet off this side. Um, right here where I'm touching right now, that's going to be a little bit iffy to cut. I'll put the macro lens on for that. Okay, and then there's this one over here. Now, here on the end, where? See if I can feel it. 
not really feeling anything there. Maybe to play it safe. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling a. Uh, oh yeah, there is, right, right there. Okay, I got it. Okay, let me just swing this around here, and we'll get the the one on the other side here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so it's, this is gonna be kind of spindly, and this is actually supposed to give the, uh, the boom support so it doesn't go down. Now we have to get right in here. I'm gonna put the macro lens on for this one. I can just barely see where we're supposed to actually make our cut. Now you can see here where this is supposed to form like a little hook and we have to come in at an angle here. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can be able to feel where the, where the notch is, but the notch should be right about, did I get the plastic off? Let me check. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can, you can sort of see it there, just I think I got it. I'll try the other one. Probably getting in your light here, aren't I? See, come at a bit of an angle. Alright, I might have nipped that one a little bit too far away from the the plastic without bending it out of shape here. There, it's loose. Okay. I realize I'm going out of your field of view here, but I'm just trying to carefully remove it from the, the other sheet. Almost off. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Well, um, yeah, this this one here. I, I think the thing must have flipped over on me. Now I don't know if I can redo that and make it smaller, or am I going to accidentally make things worse here? I think I made it a little better. Now at least it'll fit in the little hole that, that it's supposed to go in. I might have gone just a little bit too close this way, but th this one turned out good. Okay, let's uh, lay it on our part and see what we can do here. This is the last of the eight pieces that we made up about two months ago. And I guess next pizza day we're going to have to come up with something different. Now it's got to be sort of pizza-like, but it may not look like this. It might be square, <laughs> or it might be pie-shaped, or who knows. But it'll be very pizza-y. Good to the last crumb.
Okay. Now we have to fasten this. You can see it sort of hooks into this hole here. And it's going to do the same thing on the other side. Maybe. At least it's supposed to. I'm going to just go ahead and get it done because it's probably, probably you're already frustrated enough with me for, uh, you know, melting this thing a little bit out of shape. Yeah, I'm going to have to just do it off camera. I'm going to go ahead and do it and, and uh, we'll see you back here in a, about a minute or so. Okay, now you remember there was a little hole on this side for the hook to go into and or the claw part of it or whatever you want to call it but on the other side there wasn't and I don't know if I've got it filled up with glue or what but there was absolutely no sign of it so I I just used my uh, my uh, hobby knife here the point of the hobby knife and just sort of made a little hole so we sort of got this part here hinging where you know as you can see here but what we're going to need to do now is get this glue it in place approximately at the right angle so that this isn't going to want to work this isn't going to want to work it's too short or 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 is it maybe uh, okay is it or isn't it this is the first time I'm trying it, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, push stop and get my thoughts together here. Okay, I can see that it will go if this uh, first part of the boom right here is, is pretty much, I was going to say straight up and down, then, then it's going to make it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of extra thin uh, and, and and get it started, and then as it slowly solidi solid solidifies, I will get this at the right angle. Um, where's my extra thin? Here it is. Okay, maybe trying to do this on camera is not a good idea, but I can't get in from the other side now. Sorry to be blocking your light and everything. Ooh. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you get the, the idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'm just going to have to try and wiggle that down. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to push stop and uh, we'll see you back here in a minute. Now, I just know somebody's going to be thinking, Ron, it looks like your crane's damaged. Well, it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. Okay, now, this piece here is not fastened on anywhere. Uh, the only thing that's holding it in place is the, uh, the glue connection. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, CA quick setting. And, and try and attach it here and then of course on on the uh, where it hooks in now I imagine that this little piece of photo edge it will give some support at least it'll give support trying if you try to pull it apart but you know any kind of compression this thing's going to kink so what we have to do is let's see can you see this on the, in the where's the monitor yeah, you can just barely see it. If you remember, there's a there's a piece here. Why is this falling over now? Oh, I, I see what's happened. It's uh, it's come loose here on me. You know, maybe I better quit while the quitting's good here. Um, okay, yeah, there there is a piece that we have to put on the little uh, piece we have to put on there. A photo that, if you remember. We're, we're going to have to do all this in the next episode, folks. 
So just let me carefully get this off of here now before it gets completely wrecked. Because right now it's it's basically it's basically right, isn't it? Yeah, basically right. And and I I'm very sorry that about you know this. Uh, I should have known better. I should have known better. But you know, as it says in the description to my videos, please feel free to learn from my mistakes. Yeah. You know, hey, why am I spinning this? It's not. It's not plugged into it. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, and <laughs> we'll be seeing you tomorrow.